Hey, it's Crying on Wine. Episode 32? How long have we been doing this now? Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my boy. Some of y'all may know him, some might not. But you going to know in the future, all right? Nikolai Piombo. What's up, Nikolai? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm just chilling. Yeah? Where you at right now? I'm home in yeah. L.A. Okay, so... Actually, since we do have to introduce you to a whole bunch of people, because you are like fairly newer to a lot of eyes, even though somebody might have seen you in an edit or anything. Nikolai, where are you from, man? I'm from Florida. I'm from Miami originally. You're from Miami, Florida originally? Yes. Okay. So how was it growing up in Miami? It was cool. It was hot. Met uh, all my friends that I still skate with like basically every day, like. When I was like a little ass kid, and, and then we who, all moved who are those here guys? together. Who are those guys? Like Foy, I've known since I was like fifteen or some. Zion, I've known since I was like fourteen or something like that. D'Lo, I knew since I was like seventeen. Jeez. And then just yeah, we all D'Lo was already here, and then basically Zion was here a little bit before. And then me and Foy are moving to the same house with the homie Josh Douglas. And then I forget who else it was. I forgot that. I think it was just us. But I came like a month late because I was recovering from knee surgery. And then mm -hmm. I like, yeah, just came when they all came. And then basically everyone just blew up. You, you still with those dudes today. So basically, when does skateboarding start for you in Miami? How old were you? I was like 11 or something. Okay. And what got you into it? Uh, my older brother just bought me a complete. I think it was like a birdhouse complete or some shit. Just like, <laughs> like yeah. just out of nowhere, like for Christmas type? It was for my birthday, yeah. Okay. My birthday's pretty close to Christmas. And you were just oh, asking yeah. naturally like, oh, yeah, like, or was it like floating around the house? Like, oh, maybe Nikolai wants a board or was it just like one of those, I'm just trying to be a brother. Out with all the kids and shit. And then, I don't know, my older brother, like, he didn't really skate. Like, he would like damn near like longboard or some shit. Like, he didn't, yeah. he's into boats and like the ocean and all that shit, but. Yeah, I don't know. He just randomly bought me a board, like a complete. And then it took me mad long to, like, learn anything, kind of. But, yeah. That's I started, like, learning shit when I was, like, like, like 14, like, 15 type. But when you got that board, did you take it, like, seriously immediately? Like, 11-year-old you, when you got handed complete, was it, did it rust up? Did I you tried. leave it outside <laughs> or what? Nah, I brought that shit in the crib. I tried, but, like, I... I, I, bro, I was ass, bro. I couldn't do anything. So I was just like, <laughs> yeah, I was just eating shit. And then I think I was like 13 or something. And I went to Ramp 48 for the first time. It's like this indoor park in Florida that just closed down. It's like, damn near where like Foy was born. But like, <laughs> bro, I, was like I was like 13 and I literally couldn't kick him on flat. Like I was landing kickflips with like one foot. Yeah. And like Foy was like kickflip back lipping like the four rail and like back lipping at every try. I was like, what the he was like no huge and tiny. He was huge and tiny. He's built like a um, squirrel. He's built like a chicken nugget, bro. He's just like a little tubby, like little tubby. Which loaf, chicken bro. nugget? A Chick Fil A chicken nugget or like a McDonald's chicken nugget? Not like the wide shits, the McDonald's ones. <laughs> 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 he's strong now, though. He's not fat no more. Nah, no, bro. He's like he's actually like real like nice solid brolic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Shout out for getting it right. I didn't realize they were like as good as they are, but like, yeah, you know, they are. And then I just thought I would suck because I, I can't skate a big ass like rail outside of an apartment complex or some shit. I'm not jumping. Zion was like back when eating off like roofs and shit. Like, bro, I all them old skate. Florida videos, he was flying. Zion yeah, was like, I'm just, Zion was like, I'm little black and I'm a jump. He was out there, just outside, just Ooh, flying off stuff. Shit, jumping off big shit, skating, transition and shit. Like, yeah. So, but. You end yeah, up just I don't know. I was trying to do my own shit. Yeah, you just end up going to Ramp 48, legendary indoor skate park. Um super unfortunate that they didn't make the money to stay open or whatever. But yeah. you end up at randomly the time going I, there. In, I think. Say that one time. I think at the time I was living in Pompano when I was like that young. So like, yeah, that's why I I seen him and I was like, bro, what the fuck? I was like, this little kid is doing like <laughs> mad shit on this crazy. Because bro, there wasn't really pro skaters around like when when we were growing up in Florida, everyone was kind of gone. Like Ooh, the golden okay. era. Like, they had already left. Shit. They left. Like, yeah, yeah. So, like, there was no one, like, low key, there was this dude. His name was Josiah Gatlin. We'd see that dude 
Low and like, key, I, there was this dude named just. Do you I know mean, who bro, I am? Bro, mad people, mad people don't know who he is. Okay, but I know. But like, okay. mad people don't know. Like, kids watching this, a lot of them probably don't. Hold know. on, I'm gonna have to bring like, that open. Hold on, let me let me bring that up real quick. But continue your story. Go ahead. I what part, bro? He has that one part. He filmed with like, homie Josh Kanye is like, is like super good. Bro, he like doing for all y'all that crazy don't shit. know about Josiah Gatlin. He he, you know what I'm saying. Hold on. Which which part you want me to pull up? Which one you want? Which one do you want me to put oh, up? Which one is it? Was it I the, think it's where the Lost Files one? No, 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 no. Wait, let me see. Josiah Gatlin was beast. Chat. Do y'all know about this man? Josiah Gatlin full part twenty ten. That's the one. That okay. shit is Debo. It's absolutely Debo. I got But you. basically, like I would see this dude around when I was young and I didn't know like I thought he was just pro because fool was doing crazy ass shit. But yeah. Yeah, that was the closest thing that I would see, and I was like, "Oh yeah, as a pro skater, you know what I mean?" Because, <laughs> well, then also he was, he was uh, doing a lot of videos. He was on like a lot of early internet stuff. I thought he was pro too. Yeah, he was bro. on the He was doing mad shit back to back to back to back to back. Like he was in a lot of stuff, and his style was super good, was bro. Famous. Everybody That's... thought he was on. So this is just one of y'all local like heroes type. He wasn't even from there, but he he was just like around when i was around when i was super young with like foy and everyone where was he like, from yeah he was shit i don't honestly i don't want to say it and be wrong but he's not from florida <laughs> like he not from fl yeah, yeah yeah but like he was there doing some shit on all the famous spots you know what i mean yeah exactly that's bro i always thought he was from fl that's crazy See? yeah <laughs> okay well yeah definitely that was uh one of my like literal my brother's favorite skater when we were growing up this is like i used to try to put him on i used to be like hey bro watch p-rot he was like i love p-rot but this other dude is crazy i want to do my switch heels like that and my heel flips like yeah i mean that. bro he had all these kids in florida wearing his beanies and shit he had like some us some company called usco yep the usco is like a bear I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. It was like and but then like grizzly also yeah, had a bear too that's like a famous ass spot that shit got torn down this whole spot, but like, yeah, you get mad clips there. Yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all different now. That's like and right across the street from the triangle. Is he at Rep Forty Eight? He was when I was young. Yeah, he was over there tray flipping the biggest thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I need, I need to get a uh, somebody in here. Need to give me a uh, a confirmation where he really from. Cause he not from over here apparently. Cause Nikolai real <laughs> Miami, real Pompano, real he's Florida. Not but like damn near, you know what I mean? No, I'm like, saying he alumni. It happens, you know what I'm saying? Some people be like the city alumni, like Too Short, not really from Oakland. You know the rapper Too Short? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he's from LA. So him and Josiah yeah, Gatlin like the same thing. <laughs> bro, compare like, Josiah Gatlin to Too Short. That's a gig, bro. Nah, yeah, bro. He he did he not play. Bro was nice. He was nice. The only but parts... Yeah, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. Time went by, and then, and yeah, I mean, we would just move to L.A., and everyone was just, like... Foy was, like, just doing what he does. Zion was doing what he do. Same shit. Yeah. Everyone was just kind of doing their shit. I was, like, still trying to figure out, like, what I was good at skating and shit. Mm -hmm. But this is all while, like... Like, these fools are all going up. Like, I always knew, like, Ish and Tyson, because, like, we'd randomly go to contests, or, like, they're from, like, more North Florida, but yeah. I'd see them around, and then we moved there, we all became super good friends. And, yeah, it's like, bro, I watched everyone go pro, everyone's, like, going crazy, it's so sick. So, that's, I went, I seen everyone go from having nothing to, like, you feel me? To like, things. Your yeah. homies that you grew up with, having nothing, yeah, yeah, being yeah. like, yo, we gotta move across the country just to make it. I know, bro. That good. that's okay. See, we're gonna get into that because I gotta ask you how that feels. But first, let's kind of take it back. You 13, you're going to ramp 48 a little bit. Do you go there consistently, like all the time, or like because it costs to get I'll in, go, right? Like, every week. Okay. Yeah, like every week I'll just go like a couple days whenever my parents would take me. Okay. And what's your background? Nationality is like stuff. like my dad's Argentinian and mm -hmm. like his great grandparents are from Sicily. That's so how, like, my last name is Piombo, Sicilian. But okay, yeah. So Argentinian and that my dad's side, and then my mom's just Cuban. Like she came to Miami when she was three on these. It's like Peter Pan flights. They called it. It was like they just took three year olds and like basically one three year old from like each family or whatever. So it was like a plane full of three year olds, and then yeah, what? my family's close friends raised her in Miami, and she looked at them as like her parents and shit. But yeah. So Cuban, so type adopted, so like type adopted in a way, is like that. Yeah, 
Wow. Yeah, yeah. Some Miami I shit. <laughs> <laughs> Some real FL situation. So yeah, yeah. so we're going to, we're going to rent forty eight every weekend. A couple years go by, you start getting the flow of it. Like you said, 13, 14, you start actually learning how to skateboard from getting it at 11. But when yeah. when you were younger, like, I want to ask, what were you doing before skateboarding? Just being a kid, kind of like tag, regular life? Like, what are you doing? I was just living in Florida doing, like, I don't know, dumb shit. We were just, like, fishing, like, weed. As, ki- as kids, know. huh? Playing, okay. cool. playing like, uh, fucking... I don't even know. Manhunt. Like people go. just hide the shit. We all try to catch each other. I don't know. Little yeah. kid shit. Yep. I was just like fishing and shit, trying to how I, I, the BMX that shit was about. I, I tried to yes. skate. At ten felt like about the At ten, I tried to BMX as well. I did. Yeah, on the handlebar went in my chest and I was like, This is a bop. Like, I'm not I was like, this is a bop. I'm like, I can't yeah. <laughs> so um so Regular kid stuff, skateboarding's in your life, 13, every weekend, rent 48, meeting all these people. You see Josiah Gatlin around. Like, you're like, yo, that's what skateboarding is. What video parts are you watching at that young, at, at that age? I think the first video I watched, it's like, it was like a video that came behind a magazine. It was like some iPath. It was like an iPath promo, with like Danny Renat skating, like Miami and shit. Okay. Yeah, that's like the first actual video that I watched. And then I didn't really like. Dude, I was, like, super young when I watched that. And then I think the next thing was, like, I don't know. They'd have random, like, skate videos on, like, direct TV or some shit. When you know, my family had that show, I was just, like, watching shit. But then, yeah, I'd watch, like, uh, I'm saying super. This is from, like, a last kid. Yeah. But I forget what I was watching, but maybe I was older. That video, like, Via Marina or some shit came out from out here. And it was just, like, Furby had, like, some Debo part. Yeah. And then, yeah. I started liking that dude skating. I was like, oh, this dude. <laughs> but also, I like fucking jumping down shit. And like that fool just like, all he does is jump off big ass shit. I was like, oh, this is so sick. He flies. But yeah, watching that shit. That's, that was and, like your come up videos and like the thing. Cause that's early enough to where like YouTube's coming out pretty soon or it's actually becoming like a thing where they put out parts. But you're, on, you're watching DVDs at this point. You popping in DVDs. Yeah. Really. yeah. Okay. Early days FL. Foy's killing Ramp 48 consistently. Um, Florida is all the pros are gone. Like all the good people have already came and went, made those videos that went viral, start kind of getting sponsors, you, yeah. moved out to Cali. Cause you guys have like grant and all them. Like, cause I'd watch all those week and all the, like, the, the old rip and dip shit when like people yeah. actually talking about shit before it was some different shit. Yeah. But like when grant was involved with it, I was watching all that shit. Cause I thought it was hilarious, but like, yeah. By that time, all those dudes didn't even live here as well. Cause like it was already like, those fools are already gone. <laughs> yeah, type. So everybody, everybody gets hooked up, leaves, FL. Yeah, Which I was just but talking now to, everyone, everyone's trying to go back. I was just <laughs> so talking like, to Ish, bro. I was just talking to Ish about this. I was like, bro, why did y'all ever leave? He was like, bro, we just thought that that's what you were supposed to do. Like, I feel like everyone does. Bro. Yeah. Y'all, I went I mean, there for the first time for the Gas Giants trip. And realize, like, bro, why are y'all here paying this high ass rent when y'all got houses for three twenty eight? In I know when I go home, I don't want to leave, bro. It's just like hard because a lot of the filmers are gone now. So like, you yeah. go there and there's like Omar skates, but he's like, yeah, has a kid, a job. Yeah. It's like hard to organize, and like you know, he's out filming Zion, and like the little homies. So like, they're busy doing that shit. So when you're in town, it's like. All right, like we're on other people's sessions, and like sometimes they'll have trips set up, and like filmers come in town, you try to take advantage of it. But like, if there was really a homie that was there mm-hmm. and like a photographer, then there'd be no reason to not be there. Y'all can so make that, spots. bro. There is that. There's just like yeah. an unknown kid that's waiting to be discovered that knows how to film and is making edits in FL, and he needs it. Like, I should. Like, think about like all the duplex stuff coming out now, but sh- that's, like, I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, that's. That's one of the people I, I film with when I go to Florida. I'll skate with Rari. So, so like, all those kids and like Sean too. So I'll skate with them all the time. Like, yeah. you know, so it's like a brother. So I'm over there with them, but they're doing some shit. Cause it's sick. It's like, they're really making videos like every, what, like every couple months out of Florida, like pretty yeah. consistently before they had like the Andrew homies were doing it. But like the filmer, like the homie, Justin moved to New York. He was filming some all timer stuff. And then there was no one kind of filming in Miami. So mm-hmm. everyone was just like, Ugh. "That's what it is, bro." So now I heard they're doing that that Edge Lord company or whatever. It's basically in Miami, so they hired someone to film all those dudes, which is sick. But yeah, 
And thank Hopefully. God for the Sony. Thank God for the Sony FS, bro. <laughs> thank God for that camera, bro, because now it's affordable to film again because when it was that H- HBX, HPX, bro, it's like you got to buying a whip. <laughs> yeah, 20, 20 grand to make you a filmer. Sorry for him. I'd rather work at Chick-fil-A. All right. So Bus Monkey acts is, is Cromer and Dayla from Florida, too. Yes, they are, and they both just moved back, which is funny you asked both of them. Exactly. Right. They no, moved back to the same area he's from, and then Brad kind of moved back to Miami too. But it's sick because, like, brother from Florida, I I grew up watching like Brad footage when I was super young. I'd watch all his parts. But like, yeah, bro, that's that shit. Because they're out looking for spots, making shit skatable. But like, when they moved back, Justin was there filming, so it was like, it was like, oh yeah. But now it's like they got white people to come in town and try to organize it. It's like, you feel me? yeah, more slow paced. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Florida is way more slow paced in here, but it's like here the every day is the same. There rains, can't skate for a day or two, build motivation. You want to go skate? You know what I mean? Here it's like a game. You got to think of shit to motivate yourself. (laughs) Exactly. Like I I gotta stay in line. It's too much going on. But that's what I was gonna talk to you because it's tropical weather in Miami, so you guys are dealing with rain. But it dries in like two hours. Like it'll rain crazy in the morning, but then dry y'all outside. I swear, low key, that shit can condition you to be like some Debo athlete. Cause, like, bro, you're like, you skate and you sweat so much. Like, it's <laughs> insane. Like, some people don't understand. That's why when some of y'all watch like Tampa Am or Tampa Pro, like, especially old ones, like, yeah. bro, pros would be there and just be throwing up everywhere. Cause, like, bro, it's so hot. Feel you can't breathe. It's like the air is super thick with water. It's like, it's like being in a swamp, bro, like Louisiana or anything like that. It's like, yeah. same shit. But so, bro, like you sweat. Tropical like swamp. Shoes, you know like I mean? a. Like a like a diet swamp, you know. It's got like some tropic yeah. in it, like Louisiana. Yeah. That's mud. Whatever uh, you breathing in and the know you can't thick, be good for you. Thick air, bro. Thick air. Yeah. But you sweat through your shoes and shit, bro. In a couple hours, you, you skate for twenty minutes. Your brain don't work right. You know what I mean? Wait, it's so sweat hot. through your shoes, son. Yeah, bro. If you skate for hours, bro, and sweat you it's your, hot. Sweat through your effing hot. shoes. It's bad, and then it. But this is the thing. You go to L.A. and, like, it's dry and, like, yeah. cold. You can see it for, like, eight hours. And, like, <laughs> you're not as much. Like, you're like, oh, shit, this is crazy. So, but yeah, it's like, this, bro, that shit damn near conditions you. To push it back to, like, the come up. Now, what age does skateboarding feel like? Okay, like, let's do it. Like, let's start filming. Let's start doing it for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what age is that? I think I was, like, 16 or something. Okay. So I was filming with the homie Mikey Glover. I used to make Florida Days videos. Remember Mikey like, Glover, yeah. Oh, Zion, like, how people found out who Zion was besides, like, the whole Woodward thing. Because, yeah. like, Zion not many was people, part of- I want people yeah. to remember, not that many people had Fuel TV and or was on YouTube yeah, like that. Exactly. Florida Days exactly. was, like, what really put Zion in front of, like, skateboarding for real. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, Mikey's an unsung hero with that shit because, like, bro, he still be, like, hit me up with shit. So I'm like, bro, he was so good at skating. Like, Mikey that was, like, Glover? the first person I filmed with, and I was like, yo, this fool's, like, so good at skating. Like, yeah. he filmed a part with the homie Chris James in Florida. Bro, he, like, yeah, he was so good. I was, like, 17 filming him do, like, heel flip back nose ground 180s on the ledge and, like, just wet shit. Oh, like, no, he was, like, a, uh, what's, oh, what's his name? I'm never he supposed to forget his name. Do you know who films? Suchu's, uh, what's his name? Hold on. Uber? No, no, no. Shout out Pooper. Oh, 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 fuck. I can't remember his name. He does switch from back nose bones. Yes. Uh, uh, that never has ever happened to me before with his name. He's my favorite besides uh, Gustav. He's my favorite filmer skater of all time. Oh, God. How is this happening right now? Fuck, bro. I don't know. Don't do this to me because yeah. I, I don't even know about that. I just know of him. So, like, yeah. What, what, you got dust coming but out? I know who you're talking about. You got... I forget his name. <laughs> yeah, some dust stuff coming out your mouth. That was. It's dust. He said he's from Florida. He still got dust. He be breathing out. That's what that is. Anyways, so no, my fucking Xbox. This shit's like a hundred years old, bro. <laughs> so, oh. so now, um, we're you like sixteen, seventeen. You start kind of filming. You get used to it. How's school going at that point? Like, what are you like? What are you? What are you doing with that? Do we? Are we doing any sports? Oh, you kind of tall. No. You about six two. Six one. Oh, so when I was super young, I forgot to say this. My dad, so like the whole Argentinian side of my family is like super soccer. Okay. Like my cousin used to play for like Spain and Argentina, so they're all tweak about soccer. So like my the dad World was Cup teams. Like, for, yeah, 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 like real shit. But like, yeah, bro, my dad was like, "You're playing soccer." So when I was young, I was like playing soccer like a lot, uh... and then yeah, yeah, yeah. which kind of helps with skating, I guess. Exactly, like, I was about to say. 
right when you was done with that story, I was going to say, that explains the flick. Now I get it. Yeah. Now I that mean, Cater was really good at playing soccer, too. The same shit. He, His family is like, like little soccer. African soccer yeah. powers. Now look yeah, at him. Yeah, he's mad. I'm he's telling y'all, kids, good. hey, fundamentally, if you want to get good, first off, get in the gym. Always make sure your hands is right. Yes, Gustav Tonison <laughs> films and edits. Get in the gym. Get your hands right. Start boxing so y'all don't get knocked out. But if you want to get good at skating, bro, look up soccer tutorials and get your feet right because Carlos Hibero. It's like hand, like foot coordinate, or not hand, uh, like hand, foot not hand eye, but foot. Yeah, you're the opposite shit. Like the muscle yeah, yeah. memory from your feet of being good at soccer literally helps you with your flick. I am telling y'all. Try to get like a soccer ball under your feet. And if you are Googling like how to kick flip, do that if you want. But maybe you just watch Ronaldo stuff. Chris Mohern. <laughs> Puber, he named uh, David Serrano, Chris <laughs> Mohern. Uh, nah, that's none of the names, Bus Monkey. No, that's he actually... used to film for like Habitat and shit. Like he used to film like Suit You and Yeah, bro. Oh my God. How do I not know his name right now? This is like my life. This is like part of my life. It's like a that's huge crazy, part bro. of my life. Yeah. Look it up. I can probably find it before you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, bro. Like, I'm serious. Stay high, 179. Look up soccer tutorials to get good at skating. I'm telling y'all. So you're mad soccer while you're young. Like, fo- Pops is like, this is what you're going to do. But this is like in yeah. that, like, while you're being a kid. Like, I'm literally like a little ass kid. Like, I'm in like elementary school, like middle school. You know what I mean? Going to soccer games. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then when I was in high school, I was not playing soccer. I was just straight up. So I was just skating. Oh, so you did that all the way up to ninth grade? Yeah, the end of, nah, probably like eighth grade. Okay. Yeah, but I remember I was in middle school. I was filming part with my friend Thomas Gellerman. He used to film like, he used to film like me, Brian Slattery, Matt Finley, like all these dudes from Florida. And like the homie Jamal, bro, so many people, like we all would film with this homie that would skate Boynton Park. And his name was Thomas. He's from his fine spots. And he was just super down to scale all the time. Yeah. But what we would do, we would go see at Miami at like 9 30 PM and then come home at like five in the morning. And then, cause it's not hot. You don't get kicked out of spots. Yeah, facts. You actually get clips. So even here, bro, people don't really be filming at night with a hot light. Just like, you know, the camera light. Yeah. But like, bro, I was so used to that. Like growing up. It's like Arizona, yeah, dude, Arizona dudes too. I don't know how human beings live there, bro. That shit is that. But bro, it's like 125 degree, bro. That, no, that's a different type of hot, bro. That's I don't know how human beings live there is in During the summer, bro? Nah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. No, no, no. You if mean you think- you're going to go outside, shit's melting around the crib? That's oh. a bop, bro. My light. Oh. It's too hot, bro. My light flicking. That's oh. too hot. Hold on now. My light just went out. Get right. Plug it back in. Shit glitching. Yeah, it was a little glitchy. All right. So, no. Uh, shout out to Arizona. We love y'all, but we realize why is because y'all rent is so low. Y'all all probably got summer homes in in ice places. Uh, it don't cost nothing to live in AZ. Shout out to that. So you you you're down to film at night. That's good to know. So that was like the end yeah, of, that was the end of that. Yeah, that was the end of soccer. Yeah, because I remember I was taking my finals. It was like finals week or some shit. I was in high yeah. school and it was like we were skating every night till like five in the morning. But like I remember like I woke. I got home. It was like five thirty, and then I like took a shower, and then I was about to lay down. I was like, "Bro, I have to leave already." I was like, so, "I have to go to school already." <laughs> I like, I remember I just went and like it was like my math final or some shit. It was algebra two, or some bullshit. I <laughs> but bro, I got a, I got an A still, so I was like, "Yeah, I was like type shit." What? <laughs> oh yeah, because you're just like literally not an idiot. That's like my favorite thing about you. That's like my favorite I mean, thing. Like, you're crazy. Bro, my cook. parents were crazy about school, but, yeah. like, if I fucked up, I would just get pressed crazy, and then I can't skate and all this bullshit. Like, I have nothing else to do already, so I'm just, like, mad as hell if I can't do that. Yeah. But, yeah, I was just trying to not be Ed. Nah, facts. But, I, I respect that. That's, like, a good thing. It's just, like, zero Eddie tactics. Let's be zero Eddie. I didn't go to college, though. But... My dad was pressing me, and I was, like, you gonna pay for it? Yeah, and I was about to say, like, what was that coming? Like, pops, because okay, so you get through high school, y'all filming this regular. You almost like don't really live like not too much yeah. of an exciting life because Florida's kind of stale. Everybody dipped at this time, so it's not like oh, yeah. I got like a crazy memory of like a contest or anything. Y'all just like in the streets making YouTube edits and videos at that point. Literally, bro. When I was little, I would just like my mom taught 
or just showed me and my brother how to take the bus and then bro, I'll just take the bus deep with like me two of my friends and like dart or something when he was like super young we just go mm-hmm. straight everywhere and just find spots or just try to find shit we'd see in videos and yeah shit. but so that's like yeah. y'all like y'all just out so and then it comes to that that crossroad of like yo like it's either i'm gonna skate or get a job or go to college. What is that like? What pops me? And so, you know, they, they kind of put academics on y'all. They wanted y'all to be athletic. Like, how was that? When well, my like, dad's oh. old, bro. Yeah. My dad, mind he's you, OG. he's not from here. Yeah, he and OG. he's like 75. Yeah, he, he don't move like he's that old and he don't look like it. But like, his mindset is old, bro. So like, in his head, he's like, you skate, you're going to be a bum. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, you should be playing soccer. Like, all this shit. And then, basically, I was just like, whatever. And then my mom was always like, the same shit as my dad and i was just like full time i'm just like bro i don't even know what i want to study and i'm not trying to spend money on it and i know y'all aren't trying to spend money on it because so like, yeah, we cause... didn't have money i was just like what where's this money gonna come from like, <laughs> yeah, what's this gonna... college because if i had something to study that i actually wanted to learn it'd be different but yeah. i didn't and i didn't even come to la like i didn't even visit here everyone's just like we're moving there i kind of figured out what i was good at skating and i kind of just did that in the background of what everyone else is doing everyone's super focused on like what my homies are doing because yeah. they're on some crazy shit. Yeah. And then yeah, I don't know. I was just in the background doing my shit. So shadows. So <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. You literally have been in the shadows for for a minute. But at that same time you said you had a delayed move because you had this injury. What what took place? You want to go into that story? Yeah, I mean, I think I was seventeen. No, I think I was eighteen the first time. But I went to my like first like actual concert in the skate park in Tampa and then I was just practicing a run but like I skate for so long I'm just fried like I literally was doing the same run so much and then I was just exhausted and I was still skating I like remember this shit and then I went to backsmith the handrail and I got it on my kingpin and jumped to my front foot and then it just went like try to stand up and it just like came out and went back in again and I was like oh I was like it's clipped I was like I'm not I was like I don't know what just happened but it's clipped like, I boomed like, I my it. shit my shit is boomed <laughs> and then basically i did that rehab whatever and then the rehab in florida was ass it was like i was doing the same shit as some old dude next to me like it was like that yeah. i had to do extra shit to make myself feel like i was doing some shit you know what i mean and they were only trying to get my legs strong so it was like not good therapy you know what i mean yeah and then basically i moved to la staying with foreign everyone and then i think year and a half two, after like two year and a half two years or something Floyd got on shake jet and then but then, bro, I just kept hanging out with Beagles, skating with a bunch, and then we ended up filming a bunch. And then, yeah, I don't know. And this is like early, shit. like this is the this is early days, right? Yeah. So it was like my first real sponsor, bro, because I was getting, John. I had like a flow sponsor like a oh, while ago, but it's like, I don't even think it's a real thing. I skated for Island Water Sports, and then with well, Foy, Foy had that too, right? That used to be, yeah, that used to be a yeah. Foy's bio. When I first too, followed, bro, you- a card with John on it when he's like eleven years old. I wanted to tell you, I want to tell somebody this. This is like my Foy story. So when Foy first came out here to skate that rail, I'm there and I'm like, yo, like, I really got to support this kid. This is crazy, bro. Like, he's insane. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Get out. You, you ain't got no clue. I, I told you he was. Go- oh, that's what? actually crazy. I to- he had to tell him, but like, bro, don't come up really, bro. He could have texted you whatever he needed. I told you he is out of his mind from Australia. His visa don't matter. He, he doesn't know. He don't know, bro. He bro, don't know. He He's doesn't from care, earth. bro. He was watching in the living room. He's like, what stupid shit can I do? I hate him. I, bring him back. Tell him to come back. Call him. Riley. Riley. Get in here, bro. I got to talk to him. I got to talk to him. Riley. <laughs> He's Australian, bro. I know, but you we on the X Games. You can't say the C word. Bro, stop making it seem like you don't got no clothes on. I, oh, on the feet. Well, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was some shit. Look, you're trying you're to move on my shit. hair. Like. You got beautiful <laughs> Justin Bieber hair. You, yo, Visa, I'll tell him. I'll call the consulate right now. You better stop. Mr. I'm sure Bucket would love that. You got to behave. You said what? Oh, God. Mr. All right. Rogers, what's up? H- how you doing, Riley? I'm good yourself. I love you. I just had to say that real quick. I love you, too. I didn't want to kick you out of the room like I didn't love you. Like, I didn't want these, I didn't want the chat to think I didn't love you. I just had to get that out there real quick. You my guy. W in the chat. We got Pandas in here. W w in the chat. Riley Pandas. He's going to have his own episode when I figure out how to censor every moment that I can. (laughs) For sure. 
He's for <laughs> sure going to do something that is very inappropriate, and I'm going to lose my job. So uh, shout I'll out to you guys soon. So shout out to him. So look, here, I'm gonna get back into it. I love you, Riley. I'm gonna talk to you. So, oh man. So Foy, Foy's trying to do that rail, right? And I follow I I this one I was using Instagram, bro. This is like 2014, 15 or whatever. Um, I followed him and it said Island Water Sports. And I was like, oh no, I followed as like a uh the somebody and the name sounds bad. I, I was know. like, oh no, I done follow one of them super kids. I didn't he's <laughs> no, oh no, I'm back in the wrong guy. That's what I said about Jamie Foy. This is early. Island Water Sports was crazy. I mean, bro, he used to get roasted by people. That's why he's like, bro, bro, bro. Yeah, pink shirt. That's why he's so good. He makes sure he does shit that's so Debo that no one can say. Jenny anything. Foy was a walking butt of everybody's anything. joke for five solid years, bro. Four, maybe like four. Like everybody's like fat this, that, shit, that. like sliding hey, past. Hey, hey. <laughs> cat, two cribs. And they might stay at his Airbnb. <laughs> hey, Diamond. It's like, you talk shit, bro. Like, Diamond with back. Delta? First class only? We go, I can't wait to get the interview, too. I already told Jamie he got He, he already know. He owe me incentive. They, already, <laughs> they, they don't know about me, Nikolai. Me and you being, we both shadow boys. They don't know about what we really been there. So Yeah, so, they don't know a lot. Yeah, <laughs> so you out you out in these, you in the deserts with Beagle, rolling up with B. Hearn, with Brian Herman, because, you know, he bought that land out there after that alcohol thing hit. And then, <laughs> yo, facts. Yeah, so, that was crazy. We go to his house, bro, and he's like, he's like tripping, like, he's tripping about something. We're like, what's good? He's like, ah, oh, he's like, I've just been watching this video, like, I just can't get it right. I'm like, what's this fool? Like, what's he talking about? And then he's like, bro, I've been trying to grow onions for months. And like, they just keep coming out wrong. I was like, bro, he's stressing about onions. I was like, that's hard. <laughs> Brian, he's stressing about how he can't grow onions. Yeah, he was like watching like videos on like how to grow onions right. I was like, oh, weak. I was like, damn, that's pretty sick. I was like, he on his own trip for real. <laughs> bro, he's he's one of one, bro. He's one of one. I was trying to get your tag board clips to uh kind of start rolling in, but I guess I'll, I'll pull up. I with him and it was your, like. I'll pull up your parts. So, so that's playing. One second. But yeah, so these, these are your early days. Shake just your first sponsor. They they back you you going out with Beagle you roll like you scrolling first real sponsor, first yeah, exactly. real sponsor. exactly I have like a shop full of sponsor like I was getting like boards from oh I was getting boards from 3D actually which is random but it was oh, through my skate shop oh shout out 3D yeah. which who, is funny who's like, doing 3D again cycle. who's that was a uh, was that uh, that was a uh, BA it, it was Brian Anderson but the team was Austin and Tom K and I think wow. I think NK, but whatever. Basically, it's funny because it's like a whole 360 thing where, like, I ended up skating for the same team as both of them afterwards. Yeah, facts. <laughs> yeah, like, stay yeah, together. So, basically. so you're 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 doing this. This is going good for you, but you're just watching the homies excel. Like, you're like, yo, what the heck is really happening? Yeah, because I mean, this- it's understandable. They were doing, like, bro, like, what I would see... My friends do. A lot of people do not see. Me. Yeah, facts. Bro, I'm seeing crazy shit be done. Like, and it, like, yeah. Especially Foy, bro. We'd always be scared for his life, and then you just do it first try. <laughs> You'd be panicking. Bro. Y'all be yeah, all yeah. in a panic. So this is, what years are these? Do you remember these years? Like, what time on the timeline is these years? They're like 20, 2014, 2013, 2015. Because so, 2016, he already was, like, up. Kind exactly. Like so th- that's what I was saying. Around. So these these days is like that early. It's that early uh, when y'all bro, first people left. Even FL. I was a filmer, bro. Because when bro, I was I hurt, I was a filmer. Bro, I yeah, because I would film. I would film the homies on my phone when I have my knee surgery. I still want to be around my friends, bro. You know what I mean? So I would go skate. Well, not skate. Yeah. But sit there and film them get off, and then yeah. But I filmed Floyd do some crazy shit at Boyne Park one night, and it like went up, and then yeah, bro. We were just. I was just barring everyone up. Bro, I thought up. you made IG edits. I thought you flew out here to like personally film people's IG edits. And then Ish was like, nah, bro, oh. Nikolai skates. He's hurt. I was like, what you mean he skates? Bro, yeah, because at got- first I thought I was a filmer too. I was like, what? I was like, I'm not a <laughs> filmer, bro. That was crazy. <laughs> hey, at one point in my life though, I literally like felt that I sucked so much at skating that like I was about to buy a camera just so I could like hang out with my friends. Because I seriously felt like I was ass, bro. I could not do shit. Well, I could, but like in my eyes, it felt like I couldn't do shit. Yeah, 
but you're just watching everybody do other stuff. You start kind of like basing their talents. I was having to call me a bitch because I'm not grinding some big ass from It's like, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah. Jamie, Jamie not... Foy shit talk hurts, bro. It hurts because it... hey, hey, with him though, he's made me do some shit that like I probably would have never done if he wasn't there. Like random real shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out, he Jamie. definitely be state coach. So in this 2013 to 2016 time frame. Not many sponsors, still kind of recovering, trying to get better, figuring out L.A., getting through that life. I'm not really going to get into the Robbie lifestyle. We're just going to leave that there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, like, I mean, but, was... but, I'm, but I'm saying, like, life is okay while it's not where you want it to be. I mean, skating. that was before even Robbie, really. Yeah, exactly. Like, That's what I'm saying. But life yeah. is okay. Then, yeah. then Jamie wins Skater of the Year. Yeah, that happened very quickly. Yeah. I think he like got on Death Wish and then went like he was like getting float boards, became Am, and then he was getting like diamond shoes, or whatever, because like some bullshit with Nike. And then yeah, 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 bro, it just escalated so fast. And then he front crooked El Toro, and then yeah. <laughs> so basically, that's what happened. so. What does that feel like? What is that time period for you? You're kind of coming back oh, skating like, more. Like things are clicking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're working like, I think you got that little job for a little bit. And then like it, it feels, but Foy wins skater of the year. Now you're like, oh, whoa, hold up. FL that really shit was outside. Crazy. Yeah. How does that feel to be a part of Even that? Even when he turned pro, it was crazy. Cause I was just like, I was like, bro, this is crazy. He was going to go pro. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I wasn't, exactly I wasn't sure about that. Reynolds crazy. got the text too. Andrew, you got the text. Jamie don't know. <laughs> Jamie don't know. People don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Crazy. They don't know. I see. Yeah. Hey, Reynolds know. I was like, yeah. Hey, you. Yeah. I'm not going to talk mean, about bro, that. That's he was on all his AM contracts when he got that shit. That's why like, he kind of got robbed on like money wise for that whole thing. When I wake up out of my sleep, I say Jamie Foy. I do. Just because the things that I'm that hearing. Baker footage, they only use like. I. Bro, I'm bro. so <laughs> nervous about 2024. Like Playboy Cardi swears, y'all don't even know why I played that. Boy, even though James near, not, he's damn near opium. He's damn near Cardi. <laughs> he has so much shit like in just like hiding, like so much footage. Bro. He really got the mystery, but that's you know what I'm saying we gonna we gonna get into that later when Foy comes on. This is more so about you. Are now like it's all clicking. You start filming more parts. You're in more Shake John appearances. Then you start to get some sponsors going. Like you say, you float with the 3Ds, you leave that. And then... That was just like when I was young. I was like yeah. 16, exactly. 17 or something. But I'm saying that's like and that little time like, period. And then what was the next yeah, yeah. What was the next sponsor that hit you up? Basically, I filmed a VX part for Shake Joint, put that out. And then I think the day Foy turned pro, I was with Solomon Cardenas. has skates for all timers now. I was with him. And he's like, yo, he skated for a weekend at the time. He's like, yo, Grant wants to give you boards. And at that time, I still couldn't skate. So I was just like, I was like, damn, I can't even skate. I was like, shit, that's sick. I was like, I'm down. And then I just started hanging out with all them, going on trips, and then filming skits and all types of shit. And <laughs> just like, yeah, I don't know. But I've, bro, I've been on weekend already for like, bro, when Foy turned for like 2017, something like that. 2016. Crazy. So you've been over there for a minute. And like, was, to watch was, those is like jit too. Like, be watching all the weekend yeah. Tajas and all those skits and all that stuff to end up yeah, on the yeah, company. Yeah. How did. Perfect. How did that feel? Was that like one of those surreal moments, or like was it like all right, cool? Like it was I'm like, I just felt like I fit in. I was like, I was like, damn, I feel like because everyone's like the homie. It's like family, you know what I mean. So I was yeah. like, and when I was super young, I was in West Palm when I was like sixteen. I was skating with Andrew Constantine. And I was skating with Trevor Thompson. They were both living in West Palm, and like I would skate with him, and I was like, damn. And then I seen them with the two first weekend boards ever, like, dude, so long ago, like. By 2016, 2015. So crazy. Yeah, at that spot in Miami, like that two block ledge, everyone skates at the basketball court. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah. And then it just became what it is now, which is crazy. And yeah. I've seen it grow so much. Bro, I've seen every company that's out of like Grant's distribution like grow so much. Like it's fucking crazy. It's nuts. Everything. That's nuts. So <clears throat> now they hit you up. You're not skating, but when you get back on that board, and you're you're right, and you're filming, and you're stacking. Like, what is that reality? That's when the real uh, 
that's when the transformation began yes. mentally yeah. like looking at spots and looking at things different between being over with the weekend brand. dudes and like how they even like look yeah at okay because i wanted to see good spots that are like oh perfect and shit and yeah grant's like that looks like it's in front of a chipotle like I, i'm not gonna film on that so I had to get used to skating hold like on, hold on. Cutty, I need you to, I need you to say that again so I can use this with social clips. He said I'm not finna film at that cuz it looks like it's in the front of a Chipotle. Yeah. Bro, like, what is like, that even? I love Chipotle. Chipotle. What does that mean? It means the spot is boring. There's nothing to it. It looks like it's just like in front of a Starbucks or some shit. Like you know what I mean? It's like not like <laughs> So basically like he had me looking I was like Hmm, maybe he's right about that. And then I started really thinking about it. And then honestly, for me to get clips that I really like, bro, I started making my own spots skatable. I'd find shit that made sense to me. I'd rubber it, lacquer it, whatever, get it going, and then mm-hmm. do something on it. And then yeah. That's the way that's the best way, because then people are like, Oh, where's that spot? Oh, that trick was sick. Oh, like it's like multiple things about the clip that's intriguing people besides yeah. the trick, you know. And Grant is crazy about like I feel like when he edits, he like basically his whole thing that he has going on in his head is like, I'm not trying to lose interest. So he'll edit everything, even film things differently to make sure something's going on. There's not like a dull moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. He told me if I'm filming a line and it's HD and there's a dull moment where I'm pushing or something, if I'm not moving, he's moving. You feel me? So there's always okay. something like going there's on. Some flavor in the whole clip. Like that's what he's. Say yeah, time. like you something yawning. What'd you on. say? Like, you know what I mean? You said that yawning. What'd you say? Say it something got to be going on. Yeah. <laughs> something has to be going on, bro. Like, it can't just be like someone doing a line. I'm standing still for a second, like making a U turn or some shit. Like, if something's going on, he's moving and doing something to make it look interesting. And that, or it's like the spot look cool. So, and there goes Dart right there. How, how does it feel having a, a brother of yours be super talented as well at skateboarding? It's cool. He's a bitch, though. Yeah, it, it's cool. <laughs> he he's mad. He he is mad good at skating. Though. I won't tell him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Don't don't tell him. We can't tell him that he's good at anything anymore. I'm not, bro. I'm just trying to get him to like do try, something. Bro. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so now it, it clicks for you to be special with how you skate. Like you almost want yeah. uh, you almost want the DMs of like, where's that spot? Though this was sick. Like I want to curate this, and then also. <laughs> Where does having a personality like around your skating come from as well? Like, because you're not one of those people, like even when you get to a spot or when you get to a demo or a thing, you're not quiet. Like, oh, I want to be in the cut, but you're not loud. But you also like know that you're about to live it up in each moment. And even in the skits that you yeah, guys yeah. do a weekend, where does that all come from? That the skits is Grant. He's crazy. I don't yeah. know how he comes up with all that stuff. Like he's no, doing. I'm saying, where's amazing. your? Because obviously you could be directed, but then there's some people that can get in a skit where it doesn't look right. Where does your oh, like fire for sense. that come from? At first, I kind of thought about it too much. I was just like, oh, this is like kind of weird. I thought about it, I was like this is kind of weird, but then like you get used to it. It's just like, bro, you, you in front of cameras all the time anyway. Like yeah. skating, you know what I mean? So it's really not that crazy. But like, I don't know. For the most part, I'm told to just be myself. Or he's trying to make me look extra kind of fried or stupid or something. <laughs> I'll go along with it. Because, bro, he'll write out lines for me. And, like, you know, I have, like, bro, crazy slang the way I talk. Every, you yeah, know, exactly. I say a bunch of random yes, shit. Bro. Every single word I've ever said in the same sentence, I'm like, bro, I'm not saying that. Like, I would never say that. Like, you know what I mean? So I'll just, like, I'll summarize something he's telling me. And then I'll just kind of go on. so that that kind of helps you that you already kind of got your own thing because like a lot of the slang and a lot of the stuff you say bro that (laughs) that is hilarious bro well we think about it it's a mixture of things from everywhere bro my friend group now is people from everywhere i have an australian here sometimes shins here (laughs) from japan it's like people from new york people from california people from everywhere europe sweden all that shit it's like bro people be saying all types of shit have and then s- I catch on to all of it and then use it as I, as I should. You know? uh, Joe, Joe for show, you know, says, did you skate with a uh, BLP kosher, AKA Benny? Oh yeah, yeah. I like, it's crazy. So when I lived in, I lived in Boca Raton, like when I was going to high school and mm-hmm. like, I was skating with like Sean O'Connor and like my little brother, 
and this kid of Mir Dennis and shit. Basically, Benny was always like extremely good at skating. Like, yeah. A skater I could compare him to that I actually think like, oh, he kind of actually skates like him. Was, he skates like Tanner. Like, oh, wow. He kind of has no stance. Like, yeah, bro. But he was like, I was doing like switchboard 270s and like little back lip front shows on the ledge or something. Bro, he was like 12 doing like switch back and switch crook, like switch back 50, switch front 5 like doing everything. You know what I mean? He's like mad good at switch crooking stuff when he was like a little kid. I was like, oh, yeah, like he's going to be mad good. And then I moved out here. And I remember I went back and I seen him. I was in like Deerfield or something at night. It was late. I seen him in like a Pollo Tropical at night. Mm-hmm. And it kind of like, I was kind of worried for a second. I was like, oh, is he good? But then, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Because, bro, it's Florida. You don't see people for a minute. Like, you Type. know, people get into it. But, Yo, but yeah, exactly. You, you turn I around. He and- was with Beatrice a lot too. And Beatrice is like a really good head on her shoulders. And she was looking after him as well. So I was like, oh, like, you know, I was like, he's good for sure. Because he's mad younger than everybody. Benny's mad. Yeah, he's like he's a like dark age. He's like, cause him and him, Dart and Sean used to be in like art class together and stuff. Okay. Like they're all like the same grade. But, okay. but bro, yeah, I left, came back, and then he was filming with Omar. He filmed this part, and like, dude, like I just knew. I was like, dude, this fool's so good at skating. Like, he was getting habitat boards or something. Or yeah, something he had like a that. good, he had a good little flow. He was actually really doing stuff early man so it's like you- oh i seen when i moved out here i seen he went to ramp 48 and he did a switch back tail like switch flip to switch on the ledge and i was like i was like dude that's not just like some trick you could just do like yeah, you bro, need to be yeah. you need to have a lot of board control to just do a switch back tail switch flip to switch you know what yeah, i mean fact, even bro. that like bro he skates like tanner i'm telling you he really that's does bro he looks stanceless people like perfect. people don't even know that that's switch uh like blp's level of being flip, like, super good is it's actually, it was really slept on. I, I can't believe I slept like, on that. Skateboard, you know, you can't just do that. Like, no. you have to be very good at skating to do that trick. Like, yeah. Even if you don't have a stance, it does not matter. And how old is he when you were when you were around them years ago? Two. I was around him, so what? I was probably like 15, 16. He's probably 11 or 12. Jeez. He's like a little ass dude. But then, this is the thing about him. This is how you know, like... When he started making music, whatever it may be, you know how this shit is. It's like, bro, one, if you try to copy anyone, you're fried. It don't work. Yeah. No longevity. Fried shit. And it's caring what people think. He would skate street with a helmet, right? Because I'm sure his parents were on his ass or whatever it may be. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But he would, people would talk shit. He would still do it, still post his clips. Bro, he started putting a beanie over his helmet, bro. It looked crazy. I don't care. Like, I'm just like, he was skating, skating like Cheesecake Hubba and shit, like with the, the beanie over the helmet. I was just like, bro, this kid's sick. He don't even anyone think wow, but now it's bro. like there's the music shit and all this and it's like clearly if you care what people think that shit's not gonna work out oh bro so this like, is I the clips like, of him oh. skating with the beanie over the helmet yeah. yeah yeah see bro yeah yeah see cheesecake and shit yeah i'm telling you he didn't care what people thought that's why it's like a see bro like that's just sick. Oh, trick. <laughs> yeah you could tell he didn't give a damn switch yeah you don't care but he was just like bro he was a skate rap he was like a real skateboarder but he skated like every day and then, I mean, yeah, I don't really talk to him much now because bro, bro was literally like famous. It's crazy. I know. I, I see him, bro. I like, see him when I was moving my car in Miami. <laughs> he parked in my. <laughs> he was about to try to park in my spot, but the the street was too busy. I was like, "What's good, yeah, Benny? Yeah. How you doing?" I was. He's, he's always skating with scales and stuff. So I mean, yeah, he don't hit us. He don't hit up nobody no more. Now you know, you know yeah. they they blow up. They forget about us. Hey, I know, bro. You know how it is. It's like I can't be mad. I know how it is, bro. All the famous homies. Especially the Instagram side, so I know it. <laughs> You've seen people it. People blow up that are from Florida, bro. It's a beautiful thing. I was gonna get into that. I move, I come back. Oh, this person died. This person OD on drugs. This person is in jail. This person had a kid. It's like, bro. Oh my god. Like, what is wrong? If people don't have like something that they focus on, it's like, bro, destined for some wicked hanging around wicked people or some. You know what yeah. I mean? So like to see that and seeing that he was kind of around people that were a little weird. And then he figured out better people to be around and all the shit. It's like, that's a good thing to see from Florida. Because yeah. a lot of kids get stuck in shitty, you know, Positions. situation. They get stuck around the wrong crowd or victim of circumstance. It's like, you know, beautiful thing to see that boy going up. I love that shit. Shout out to BLP Kosher, man. So now oh, yeah. let's, let's kind of like roll into, you know, your story is not even up yet. We still got to bring you back for the next chapters. But like right now, you you're... Bro, your work ethic is insane. 
can you like get into the like no, it is, yeah. bro i know for a while it's kind of you know what i'm saying I but, like, but real, real quick you didn't, have a, you didn't have a stage you know I mean? for your work ethic though that's what i was saying you didn't really have one where it was like yeah. okay this about you it was always like all right i'm with the homies i get to be in the shake jump video i only have to turn in a couple clips now it's becoming about you because of that work ethic this last four and a half years of just like Footage, 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 yeah. footage, footage, footage. I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. So, like, what, what is, what is that, man? What, what is that? Is that just so watching like, Foy or what? I mean, it's watching Foy and then just all my friends and then, bro, even the people I met out here. It's like, bro, everyone's like, all the homies are like the best skaters in the world, bro. Like, everyone's yeah. so good. Type but like, being around that, you learn a lot. You're around people like Ashad, you learn a lot, bro. I was like a scientist, be breaking everything down to shit. I'm kind of yeah. the same way. So yeah, exactly. Explain you guys' connection, like because that's when I feel, even though that's like newer, that's what, and that's you winning our pushing for pink best trick. Um, that dude, even, I forgot that I won a contest. That's crazy. Did yeah, you ever? Go, did you ever get the thing to go to the hotel out there, Barcy? It's just hit him up, but I mean, I'm sure I'll be in Barcelona soon. Yeah. Some, some. So so <clears throat> yeah, they explain that like. While you're getting this work ethic, then you kind of get around a shot too. A well, this is the thing. I was kind of going through a lot. Like, I had a lot of shit going on. I had, like, one of my friends got killed and then a couple people, suicide stuff during COVID. So, there was a lot going on, like, the homies and shit. And I'm really close to my homies. So, that was a lot. You know what I mean? And then after that, it was like, okay, like, now I can focus on what I need to do and, like, focus on what I want to do, which was skating. Yeah. And then pretty much like i was on a weekend trip i think when it happened at the end of a trip and then i came back and it sh i was talking to a shot or something something basically he was just like telling me like yo you're one of my favorite skaters bro if you do this every day like if you skate like he's like at what point in your life are you learning mad tricks and i was like I was probably like 16 or 17 at like Boyden Park in Florida, skating yeah. in just circles for hours. You know what I mean? I was like, that's when I was learning shit. He's like, gotta do the same shit. Well, hold on, bro. It's cat tweeting. What y'all got going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, trying to like push the cat in my room. I'm like, bro, get that thing out of here, bro. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody slam a door on a cat, bro. What y'all got going on? Bro, Boom. There's dark back there, bro. Tripping. Like, what? <laughs> So, so, so you, you said a shot gets you like, no, he's telling you like, uh, don't, don't, whatever, what are you, whatever you're doing behind, under the camera, stop doing it. Whatever you're doing. Oh, stop doing yeah, what you're I'm doing. Not doing anything. I know, I know, I know. I'm not, uh, but, um, basically he was just like, bro, skate every day, like for like, like six to eight hours damn near. Cause yeah. every time I skate with him, it's like, I like skating a lot and I'll go out throughout the day, basically like skate in the morning or something. And we'll skate another park or for skating street we'll skate in the morning go skate street skate a park at night so all those sessions break up to like bro it's like six eight hours a day of skating yeah but towards the end of the day it's like all the homies are gone everyone's over it and i yeah. still want to skate but when i'm skating with the shot he's like down to skate like the whole time. bro so ridiculous it's like perfect yeah, yeah so we just be skating a bunch and then tanner's the same way too so I'm skating with tanner a lot but yeah he's like do that shit and then if you really like do it like watch in six months you'll see like a difference bro you're gonna be Debo. and then six months came by and then bro i swear it's just i was i just didn't care what kids thought i was like i suck at knife flips and switch flips and all this random stuff i was like i'm just gonna go learn that shit at the skate park i don't care if i look stupid about it whatever. yeah i was just going tricks i skipped when i was young and i was just going back learning random tricks like a kid from those many i never did one till like last year i was like no, I'm i'll like, just get it yeah, I'll have it in the back. Started opening other doors and then skating every day. The way he put it is like, bro, think about all these stupid things skaters do in their brain to like kind of stop them. From Trick them skating. from being great. Yeah. One thing is, oh, I'll be doing the same trick too much. Like, blah, blah, blah. Or like, oh, like, I already have this trick. I'm filming. I'm already filming a part. I already have that trick. I'm like, I'm filming at this spot. Like, yeah. Random little things that you don't think about. Really bro, you go to spot, you Yeah, do facts. Do that shit, bro. Film it. And then you're just going to have more of it. And then you just use it accordingly with all your sponsors. No, just, <laughs> no Ashad is, I mean, that's bro. very true because Ashad, bro, it's really shit. It's like he will do his warm up. What bro, yeah. Ashad does a build up at every spot. Unless he actually has the trick in mind, 
where he's like, I want to do this here today, which is rare from what, from my experiences of like knowing him. I've known him, you know what I'm saying? I've known a shot for way too yeah. long. I need to get rid of him. I need to like not know him for like two years. Um, he, he'll, he does a build up skate park session at the street spot. Yeah. Get all that shit warmed up. Gets <laughs> everything, bro. Then he's like, it's all like, right. com- like the whole goal for me. I just want to be comfortable in my setup, bro. And like the only way to do that is to do it every day or like try to whatever works out for your life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even when I was working, it's like, I would ask to be scheduled according to the daylight schedule of the time of the year. Like, Oh, if it gets dark early, I'm going to work like, a late night shift i'll work when it gets dark six to three a.m i'll work that so i can skate all day and then when it's flipped i'll work in the morning mm-hmm. skate later on the day you know what i mean yeah so i'll try to figure it out in a sense to where it works out and then yeah i mean i got fired because i <laughs> it's like impossible to have a job when you're like going on trips and shit literally it's like even if they say it's cool it eventually becomes not cool yeah so, facts because you literally are gone like 14 days like it's like, yeah you exactly. know yeah, but seeing the world is beautiful, bro. Sometimes you gotta lose your job. So you 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 get this level of consistency being around a shot, and now you you see skateboarding in a whole different way. So what what is what helped you figure out sliding tricks forever? <laughs> Wax in my weight. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Literally, like sk- bro. I swear to God, like if you skate for long enough, you just realize like everything is like weight, like weight distribution, like everything even like doing a flat ground trick good or doing it like shit is all your weight like if you do a trick and miss your popper nicola i wasn't off, gonna say nothing you i wasn't gonna say nothing you're dropping gems but you keep cursing i can't use it you i keep, can't curse all right it's no gonna be it's hard, not that you try. can't shit is fine you know what i'm saying i just you are actually dropping gems on these kids <laughs> i i'm gonna let you talk but damn we gonna bleep it out, Tom. I know it's hey, Tom. Hold on, Tom. Ask away, real quick, Nikolai. Do what? Give me a second. Hold on, I'm put. I broke something. All I'm gonna say is, if your weight's off, you can't do a trick the way you think you should, like in a video game. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. It's like, yeah, some people just got it. That's why some people are just naturally good. But like, bro, trying to figure it out, it's like weird. But when you skate every day, it's like you really start figuring it out. It just works. And then, it's like doing anything, you know, like basketball players. If you're a pro basketball player, what are you doing every day? Something towards being better at basketball. Facts. You know what I mean? You're working on it. Yeah, it's like the same thing. So people just don't want to admit it, but we're athletes, bro. It's the same thing. Like, no, we're not, bro. We're gods, bro. We're gods. All right. Skateboarders, body, you gotta, like, skateboarders are gods. We're not athletes. I'm sick of it. And me and Tony Hawk, I'm beef with Tony Hawk right now. You know what? <laughs> me and Tony Hawk got real streak beef because he actually. Yeah, beef with Tanner stepdad, bro. Come on, don't do that. Not like that. Not for Not like a real beef because you know he my uncle. You know Tony Hawk, my uncle. Type shit, right? Yeah, he my daddy brother. So. He was saying how we athletes and it makes sense because the compet that competitive side, but I think I we're gods because we spend like, our life getting hurt for literally 0.2 seconds of satisfaction and dopamine. If you make me realize everything happened for a reason for real, because sometimes you be getting hurt, you can't skate, but yeah. then if you were skating, you probably would have got way more hurt. And then, because you know, things be building up, your body Damn. gets tight on one side, that's how you get hurt. Damn. Yeah, listen to the signs, bro. Say everything. Did you do you start stu- did you start studying your body? Because it sounds like after like all the PT that you've had to go through. So basically, the second time I did my PT, I didn't get to talk about this. I was filming for that Flavor Country video that that uh, some Florida edit Shake Jam made. But like, basically, I went to this spot and like, I tried to like, I wanted to back with like back with kickflip or something stupid. I don't remember. But basically, I tried to back live it. I stick at the end. If you put this story together with my first time, mm-hmm. I stuck on both tricks. Yeah, you did. People stuck say, yeah. why do you like wax? <laughs> I don't want to get hit. So basically, I stick at the end. I go to pop out anyway. Throws me into a split. My right knee tweaks. I'm able to walk after. I'm like, oh, like, I'm how good. weird I feel. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't know what that was. And then, I get an MRI and then when I'm waiting for the results, I go back to Florida and then I'm sitting on race's couch, the homie race. And then he's like, Oh, like what's going on with it? And then I get the email, the MRI results. And it's like, 
oh, you tore your ACL on both sides of your meniscus. I was like, bro, what? I was like, how? I'm I like, chilling. I, I, like, I walked over yeah, here. I was like, I'm good. I was like, what? And then, uh, basically, I was like, whatever. I'm going to get the surgery right now. Like, I went, I went and got the surgery like that month in Florida, the same dude that did my last surgery. And then I went back to LA when yeah. I could walk again. I remember so it was this. like two months, and a half, two months after. I fully remember but all during this. this time, I remember when you were gone. Shane, I checked on you. Yeah. I called you. Do you remember this? Yeah, I do. I, I remember. remember this. Yeah, keep going. But I hit up. Uh, I hit up or Shane hit me up. Shane Hill from Shake Chat, and he's like, "Yo, like, I got this dude. His name's Doctor Eddie. You should tap in with him. Eddie, like, he's gonna take care of you." And I was like, "All right." And then I go there, and it turns out it's like, dude, he works on all these skaters. P. Rob been going there for like fifteen years, like every week. And like, mind you, Paul, first time getting hurt was not too long ago. Yeah. Like, body nice. was pretty secure. Yeah. So this dude knows what he's doing. He was like, he was like the on-go doctor for like the U.S. like volleyball team or something. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, it's like you play volleyball, you're jumping, 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 jumping the whole time. So it's like kind of the same mechanics a little bit, not in the sense of like they're like skaters, but like as from a PT standpoint, it's like, oh, yeah. jumping, jumping, jumping. You know what I mean? So he started working on skaters. And the first thing he said was like, yo, can I see your footage? I started laughing. I was like, what? Really? He's like, yeah, no, nah, really. watch my clips. And then he's like watching my clips and he's like, yo, I know why you keep hurting your knees. And I was like, why? He's like, you land knock knee. And I was like, what do you mean by that? He's like, when you land, your knees are like going in. You know what I mean? Like, like wow, your so knees are like hitting. I was like, oh, I mean, bro. Yeah. Like anyone like that, like when they're young, you can tell, like, you know what I mean? It's like an imbalance in your muscles, but yeah. he's like, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to rebuild your body's mechanics on how you take impact from scratch, starting from when you could walk. And then I did that and like did that shit for like seven months or whatever, maybe. And then afterwards, like you could see my skating now. It's like sometimes when I pop, like I might be a little knock kneed, but like when I land, it's normal every time. Like it's not like yeah. that at all. Cause I guess if you skate like that, all the wear and tear goes knees, hips, ankles. So like, it's only breakdown, 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 breakdown. Right. So like when they got it right, it's like now my whole body could take the impact instead of just breaking down the things I'm using every day to try to skate. You know what I mean? Oh, so it was like a blessing in disguise. I would have never known any of this if none of that happened. And then the second time Dr. Eddie had like an apprentice and like he was writing his like finals, like his final project for like his college like thesis or whatever was yeah. like on my knee recovery. So he was like taking it super what? serious. That's hard. Yeah, but I would always ask this dude mad questions because, like, if anything hurts, I want to know what's going on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And eventually, he's like, yo, you, like, seem pretty interested in this. Like, would you be down to, like, intern for me? Like, you could, like, you know? And in my head, I was like, I was like, I guess it's kind of interesting. Yeah, like, exactly, yeah. Oh, like, you know what I mean? And at this point, like, it was after I lived with Robbie and, like, I had moved to four seven crib where Foy, Zion, and Sorgente were living. Exactly. And I was sleeping on the floor and I was like, how is that? Like, but basically... I was like, I don't have a job. I might as well just like try, I guess. So I interned for like three or four months, but and now I go to Jessica like every week and talk to her and Amy's like the she was like the Red Bull PT. Yeah. So like maybe put me on a knowledge too about things to do to prevent injury. I wake up every morning. Hey, do, do you think of those stuff. mid trick or do you think of those like oh, while you're sleeping? Is it in your diet? Is it like like diet and like mind to muscle reaction for like Bales As a skater, you don't want to be – you ain't trying to get buff. You know what I mean? Type. Like, you're trying to be built like, like Bruce Lee or something, bro. Yeah. Like you you want to be, like, you wanna be a feather. You want to be a feather. Yeah. Yeah. But if you have mind to muscle reaction and it's on point, it's a lot harder for you to get hurt. It's like when you're super fatigued and, like, your body's all loose, it's like your mind to muscle reaction can be off for a second, and, like, that's when you tear a ligament or, like, some, some, some bat. You know what I mean? So it's like if you know all these things – Bro, I didn't know like, none of this – We've been yeah. kicking it all this, bro. I didn't know you went and became a damn doctor. I mean, bro, I was just trying to learn. I was like, honestly, I was like, this is interesting. It's like you're learning about yourself, bro. It's like there's mad stuff about. You but when me you learn shit. all stuff, you can't tell like, me none of this oh. shit. All right, yeah, Joe, for sure. You know, well, look, Nikolai, you had an impressive life. We're going to wrap this stream up. I got a couple questions to ask you. All right. So What's your favorite X Games moment of all time? Doesn't matter if it's good or bad. It could be a bail. It could be a win. It could be a moment. Anything. It could be a real street part. Doesn't matter. Favorite X Games moment of all time. Mm. 
If you don't have one, you need to say, hey, X Games, do better so I can have one. That's fine, too. We'll work on ourselves. You might have to do better in giving one because my, dude, I don't know. My mind's, yeah. I don't really focus on that stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's something I'm not thinking of that's there. It'll happen and you tell me off camera. That's fine. You're the first person yeah. to not have one. You don't got one at all in your mind, ever? The homie thought he won uh, the real street, but he got third. <laughs> that might be my favorite moment. <laughs> Maybe not for them, but that was really funny. <laughs> That was bad. I mean, it was really funny, though. <laughs> I won't say who it was. I know exactly who it was. I yeah, was I there when that was all the joke. Oh, my God. I did not think he was going to say that, bro. That's actually hilarious. Oh, my God. That's my favorite moment. Oh, my God. Weird. No. I feel bad at having the homie because, like, you know. I oh, was God. Wrong, they thought they won Real really Street bad. and then they found yeah. out in the worst I way. This. I see. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> That was my favorite moment. Okay. That's what right. wants to Shout out to that moment, to that dude. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. Uh, oh, yeah, my yeah, God. And now, you ready? Who's on your yeah. Mount Rushmore skateboarding? That's me four times. Don't worry about oh. it. Who is on your Mount Rushmore skateboarding? <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. I'd say... Let's put... Rodrigo TX up there. And let's put uh, Javier Sarmento because he got it. Who else? Perhaps it, um, it ain't never went nowhere. Who else? Mm. Hey, Brandon Turner, for sure. Be burn. Yeah. And then. Yeah, who else? Number man? four. One more. All time. Oh. All time? Yeah. Who's the last one? Tiago. Tiago Lemos is Debo. That is a good yeah. That's a good list. That's a good list. I like that. I love that. Let's go. That was four? That was four. That was four. Now, this is uh grinding on wine. Can I replace Tiago or is that foul? It's not foul. It's your list, bro. It's whoever you want. Who Gustav. is Gustav? Gustav Tonison. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Sorry, Tiago, you lo you lost it. So it's not a no, violation. Like Bishop. Only one spot left. If there was like two more. Good, bro. Don't worry about it. It's only four, and he he got left. So this is grinding on wine. Y'all know what we do at the end of every one of these episodes. Got to spit a freestyle, Nikolai. You got to stay here for it. I got a beat. What? Yep. I Wait, spit a you? you? Yeah, I'm gonna spit one. Oh, that's time. hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Don't worry. You know, you can't hear the beat. No, don't bring him in here. Don't bring him in. Chat, you guys want Riley? No, chat. Please don't. Chat, don't say you want Riley. Chat, please no. No, chat, please don't bring Riley in. Do y'all hear the beat? Chat, please don't bring Riley in. No. Yo. All right. Yo, please don't bring Riley in. All right. Why all the right. beat stop? Oh, it switched. Oh, that's too hard. It paused. Uh, shout out Riley. Uh, I'm not going to say the word that he sent me in the text message. W or L in the chat. Man. It's W's in the chat. No for L's, don't disrespect it. It get hectic. <laughs> the spot we wrecked it. Hey, if it's a ledge, Nikolai will never neglect shit. He get the wax and wax it up quick. He don't want to get stuck because it always led to some... You feel me? I, yeah, you got me hitting the head I got bars. I go crazy. My bad that that happened, bro. My bad, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I didn't mean that to go down. Shout out to the Tesla that Floyd drive around. It said it's Nike over Adidas. Adidas over Nike. Don't like none of them, but shout out to Nikolai. <laughs> and rest. <laughs> Yo, y'all crazy. He always put that in the chat, but look, I'm back at it. And I'm spitting like a crack addict. It's off top of the dome, man. It's automatic. It's G code, baby. You don't want the static. It's LMAO, but I am never laughing. It's Riley in the back, but he not trapping. It's D on the beat, but he not Let's gassing. Not. He said Let's make it not. jiggle while he eat the pudding. It's Yo. G Cole, baby. I'm he just good looking. <laughs> he might what have he said say? that. What'd he say? Whatever you just said. Hey, hey. Yo, he said we on Warzone Nikolai after it's over. Grinding on wine, episode 32. Yeah. Hey, Shout hey, out to hey Nikolai Chad, Chad. Chad, do you guys want to see me and Gary stream Warzone and then what? Riley like in the background doing super shit. 100%. We need to do that. But right now, 
We're gonna wrap the episode. Riley, <laughs> shout out to you. D, shout out to the beat. I appreciate you, family. And I got to leave with some kind words. This is like that point where you sit there, you got to awkwardly take all this love I'm going to give you. People don't even know that your success and where it's about to go, but I'm proud. Like all this time that I've known you, you've stayed focused. You try to hone in and lock in to make sure that everything that you were doing in California actually led up to something and meant something for you. You kind of knew that you were literally on your own while having all the homies. Nobody could really pull you. And you did take your own path. You have your own sponsors. You know what I'm saying? You're leading your own yeah. fight. You feel me? It's always After been emerged behind some pretty big shadows. <laughs> hey, you did, bro. Like you've to yeah, live. Yeah. You feel me? Like imagine the Jackson Five. They got to try to outdo Mike. None of them got albums we remember. Four other brothers made <laughs> albums. None of us know none of them shits. So what I'm saying is, is like I, I am proud that you chose your own path and where you're going and everything that you've done on your own and living out that personality, the creative things that nobody even knows you do throughout the skate industry, the lingo that you put here, the clothing, the style that you have is all your own. And um, just to be your friend is beast, bro, because what's going to happen next for you and the, the things that you say you want to do, I'm going to be right there with you. So like I said, your boy is real proud. Big love. Keep going. Riley. Riley, <laughs> I swear you're not a real person. I can't wait till they find out about him, bro. I cannot wait till you're one of the most oh, this, famous. This is not a real person. If you bro, watch the weekend skit, we bro. generated him in the office. He's not a real person. He's he not. hatched out of an egg, bro. He's not figure, a real person. I figure, bro. He just popped up. And he lost his wallet. He has no ID. He's literally not a real person. Gary, those words were so thoughtful of Nikolai. Bro, I meant Hey, them. I love you, Gary, though. I love you real. too, though, It means a lot. I'm serious, bro. bro. I'm very serious. So, and like you said, we got to come back on here because there's things that I, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. He said, when are we going to see Zeb Powell? Why do you keep coming in the chat saying that? We already had a Zeb. Same dude coming to the the TikTok chat. He say that. Anyways, proud of you. (laughs) Keep going. You got this. We'll see it. All right. This is Grinding on Wine episode 32. And you look, he said he itching for the Zara right now. Don't worry about what he got going on. Leave him alone. (laughs) I'm out of here. Love both of y'all. Peace. Peace.